What's up, Virgo? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot, here to look at your week ahead, starting October 7th, uh, 2024. Virgo, I hope all is well. Um, I think my football game just went off. <laughs> or it's, uh, what is that? See, Mike is spinning. Maybe, oh, okay, game may, may have ended. Anyway, I was watching football. <clears throat> um... Yeah, Virgo, I'm using Spellcasters Tarot this week to deliver your messages. Not reading any uh, reversals, uh, just going to cleanse the energies from doing uh, Leo's messages, and we shall begin with your messages. So, energies for Virgo this week, and you know, just to throw in a reminder to people who throw in questions, I do, do not answer personal questions. I, You know, I'm sorry, I used to... Um, do personal readings. I no longer do personal readings, and I certainly do not answer anyone's personal questions here uh, on YouTube. Um, the readings that I do are just general, and they're general for everyone. So if whatever I come up with is what I come up with, but I will not answer any anyone's personal questions. So please, please stop asking me to answer personal questions for you, because it will not happen. I just don't do that anymore, you know, I don't, I don't sound, you know, to come off the wrong way, and just, people will just, um, you know, continue to try you at any, every turn, I don't do personal readings anymore, and I don't answer personal questions that are thrown here on YouTube. What I'm giving you is all you're going to get, okay? So if there's anything that's related to your questions in terms of what I say, then, you know, hopefully it's useful and you can use it. All right, energy's here for Virgo. Enough about that. It's coming up with Virgo. <clears throat> So I'm going to move the camera down here, Virgo, so uh, you can begin your messages here. I'm going to cut the card so that you will see, and hopefully that you will be able to see once I lay the cards down, because I lost my major light. All right. But anyway, we're going to begin messages here for Virgo, and we're going to start off with, uh, well, there's the big money card, Ten of Pentacles. Excuse me, hold on, maybe I moved it down too low. All right, Ten of Pentacles is here for you, Virgo. And that's the big money, one of the big money cards. So this is, well, it could be money coming in from unknown sources. It could be an inheritance. It could be um, you being the risk-taking Virgo who likes to gamble and play the lottery, go to casino runs, just play responsibly. This is money coming in in the form of promotions, substantial pay raises, bonus money okay now what I said before I don't answer personal questions take what's coming up here and look at what's being thrown down if it is the absence of money Virgo okay then it's uh, you feeling abundant about something or someone or some other area of your life okay it's single Virgos out there independently taking care of yourself. The abundance could be that um, you're in a partnership and both of you are equally sharing and enjoying taking care of each other's needs and wants. On top of that, we have the uh, Major Arcana, the Hangman. Hangman just comes through to uh, remind you of a action or decision, not to rush through an action or decision this week. Take your time. Things ain't... Hanging in the fence, or yeah, hang, things hanging in, things hanging on the fence. Air suspension, right? I don't know why I couldn't figure that out. Anyway, so that's the hangman, neutral, really energy. Now we have the uh, page of pentacles. Okay, so money is coming in here, very strong here for you, Virgo. So the page is uh, usually an offering. So that could be a, a you know, a job offer contract offer could be a birth of a business idea 
You could also regard the Page of Pentacles showing up here in your spread as the beginning stages of your financial situation turn around for the better. And maybe um, for some of you, it could be for the first time because the Pages and the Aces always start things off for the first time. Up next now, look, this is the, and you know, this is so funny too, because this is the car when I was shuffling and you didn't see it, but it fell out. You have to go back to the video when I was shuffling and I said, oh shoot, this was the card that popped out, Virgo, the four wands, the happiness card. This is the card that represents homes, houses, apartments, shared energy um, with other people. This could be engagements, uh, proposals, weddings, celebrations of birthdays, anniversaries, relocating to a different area, purchasing property. Okay, couples moving in with one another, family members, friends, romantic partners. Always the shared energy with others inside of structure of a building. Okay, interesting that that card shows up here and that was the card that flipped over. And I was going to use it, but you didn't see it. So I said, well, <sighs> funny how things uh, turn out, right? Up next is the uh, death. Oh, I'm sorry. I was about to call this the death card. No, this is the Major Arcana, the Hermit. I'm sorry. Neutral, just like the uh, Hangman. Um, so, yeah, detaching your energies, you know, taking yourself away from, you know, things. It could be just wanting to be by yourself, trying to figure something out. The light that, or the lantern that he holds is always referred to me as the light at the end of the tunnel. You're not going to stay in this energy too long. It could be just in the form of meditation, just taking up, you know, time out for yourself, catching up, reading a book, whatever it is that's going to help you. And if you have to do some soul searching, whether or not it's deeper, it doesn't entail or involve any deep thoughts or, you know, processing, you're going to arrive at any answer that you sought from within. Okay. Clearer perspective. That's going to sit on top of the four of wands. Up next here for you, Virgo, is, see, the money. Three of Pentacles, there's money. This is a card that always represents um, being rewarded, collaborating with others. Uh, it could be recognition coming through from your employer, giving you a small pay raise. Uh, anything related to uh, completions of any projects, whether you're working with others or not. The energies are going up for you tomorrow, October 7th, by Wednesday the 9th. Then there could be a form of thank you, congratulations, a job well done, pat on the back. Also, with the Three of Pentacles, there could be um, an introduction to someone new and always get, there could be also um, workplace attraction or love affairs going on. So money is looking good for you, uh, Virgo, this week. Now we look at this, okay? The King of Pentacles. Boy, if you guys were worried about your money this week, you shouldn't be because, again, this is your boss in the workplace environment. This is the creditors. This is, you know, um, your Virgo. So this could just represent the attributes of you. Uh, could be that you're a good money handler. You're feeling stable. Uh, you're dependable, reliable, and this is how other people see you, view you encouraging, nurturing, like the finer things in life, never come across as uh, being stingy or selfish, always willing to share. This could be, uh, you know, with the page of pentacles here in this spread, could be, again, business partnerships that are formed. When it comes to romantic partnerships, well, this person has already uh, accumulated some wealth along the way. They could be running their own business, all right? But they're not stingy. They're willing to share. These people are dependable, reliable, as well as stable. So money is looking grand for you, Virgo, this week. Now, we don't want to get into any um, bouts of uh, disagreements or fights, petty arguments with anyone. Usually I say it's the projection of energy that may come onto you by others. Don't engage if it does happen for you, Virgo, because this is what's going on with them. It got nothing to do with you. If you don't add fuel to the fire, then, you know, as quickly as this five of wands may express itself towards you, it will go away if you ignore it. Also, too, there could be just a moment of energy where some of you are just feeling a little bit restless um, about something or involving something, and that too shall pass. 
Then we have, look at this. This reading is all about you, Virgo. Okay, now we have the queen. The queen is exactly what I said about the king. Right? So, I'm going to save myself some breath here. It's the same thing that I said about the king. This is female energy, though. Now you have male energy. So you got both the king and the queen here representing an element of, um, for some of you, this week, a strong potential of um, the focus may be on work and finances, but I think it's more money, which is pretty good, you know, and that money could be coming through. Known and unknown sources. I'm going to leave it at that. Queen of Pentacles. Let me push this back a little bit. All right, there we go. Okay, let's continue here, Virgo. Um, up next now, we have the Five of Cups. Okay, sadness and disappointment. So, you know, it's a five. If it expresses itself, it may not be your sadness or disappointment. I always say it could be related to a child of yours. It could be your romantic partner. It could be somebody else in the family or a platonic friend. Uh, like the Five of Wands, if it does express itself, it will be temporary. We go through mood swings. Temporary. Nothing lasts for forever, right? But there is some sort of sadness or disappointment that may occur uh, related to you this week. Uh, and if it does, it's temporary. Then we have more money showing up here. This is the Four of Pentacles. Now, this is, um, yeah, a small pay raise. You got the Page of Pentacles, the King and Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Now you have the um, Four of Pentacles. So saving up for something greater could be a small pay raise, but there's also an indication of something that needs to be released and let go that you're holding on too tight and securely to. It may or may not be love and affection. could be something else. All right? That's going to sit on top of the Four of Cups. And that may, I'm sorry, the Five of Cups, and that may play, have some sort of significance to somebody. The Sadness card over the Money card. Or the Money card over the Sadness card. Then we uh, come up here next here, Virgo, Two of Cups. Two of Cups is about those Virgos who are in romantic partnerships already. You're equally enjoying and sharing each other's energies, like-mindedness. This could be... Um, an invitation out on a date for someone for the first time, okay? And also the um, Two of Cups has the ability to unite romantic partnerships. This is about contracts, commitments, Two of Cups. Up next here for you, Virgo, is the Temperance card, Major Arcana, that comes through. To rebalance or rebalance anything that was out of balance for you prior. She represents relationships. She represents Mother Nature. So, so of course, you you know, some of you could be going out enjoying Mother Nature and God's beauty. This is, you know, not only uh, feeling that peace with yourself, feeling that peace with others, loving yourself, knowing what your worth and your values mean to yourself and what they mean to others. Okay. That is the temperance card. She also represents all relationships. On top of temperance here for you, Virgo, we have the um, Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords here is uh, you're not trapped, okay? You're not feeling trapped. You're not blindfolded. Um, this card represents fears, doubts, uncertainties, anxiety, nervousness, possibly sleepless nights. I made the uh, analogy last in one of the videos here, because I neglected the first time, you know, I started using this deck and I usually pick up things that I see. Um, Virgo, of course, this is the bull that's behind this person that's, you know, surrounded by the swords. So there could be some sort of situation going on here with Virgo involving another earth sign. Now, it could be, a, you know, it could be another Virgo, it could be a Taurus the bull, because that's what's in the background. 
could be um, Capricorn having some sort of anxiety, nervousness, um, could be a break in communication because I always oftentimes get a break in communication um, with family members, friends, or romantic partners. And here we have the bull in the background would be stubborn energy, someone refusing to call, refusing to talk. I also um, advise you guys to be careful here, though. However, with the Eight of Swords can be tricky, like the moon, and not to infiltrate your mind with unnecessary, um, you know, mental stuff um, that may be, you know, be uh, pertaining to a person's situation or event that has yet to occur or will ever occur. So be careful here. If you're dealing with the Eight of Swords, of course, deal with it to reduce the energy of stress that you may be experiencing because you don't want this to be uh, left unchecked because it will lead to the Nine of Swords energies if you don't do anything at all. That's going to sit on top of the uh, Temperance card. And I think that because it sits on top of the Temperance card, you guys will have some uh, help in trying to um, deal with any conflicting energies because the Major Arcana is beneath it. The last card I have for you, uh, Virgo, uh, in this spread, uh, we're going to finish off with what? We're going to finish off with the Three of Cups. Um, yeah. So there's something to be happy and joyous about this week, Virgo. Celebrations, of course. It could be uh, someone's birthday, anniversary. Maybe I'll need to hold it up here in the light. Um, yeah. Yeah. Any types of celebrations, celebrating with family members, friends, romantic partners, could be just hanging out, enjoying uh, energies with co-workers after work. There is something to be happy and joyous about this week, Virgo. All right. This is the card that finishes off the entire spread. And remember, this is just me interpreting these messages here for you, Virgo. Only take what's going to work for you. Uh, leave the rest alone. However, if you would... Um, be so kind to like the video, comment on the video, share the video if you uh, care to, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, come back and get more of these messages from me, Virgo, and I will talk to you soon. Ciao.